Hi guys, this is Tyson from Sturdy Made. Uh, we are building a new three foot by three foot by eight foot column that we are trying to make as sturdy as we can because we're gonna be attaching all sorts of bars to it. I wanna show you guys how we are going about this. Uh, the base of the unit is gonna be here. We've already decided where it's gonna be and laid it down on the ground. And then we are basically just stacking different walls up to make this whole thing. The sides are their own walls and the top is its own wall. And this is a really easy way to make a big box um, piece by piece. Uh, we've already assembled all of our wall pieces. Here's one of our wall pieces. We're doing a spiral framing mechanism um, so that each of these wall pieces is actually the same one. And then we have one that fits on the top. Uh, this is the top piece here. This will just sit on the very top of the unit. And then this is the side pieces. On these side pieces, we added a flat section here so that on each of the corners of the unit uh, we have lots and lots of wood to sink into because we plant a lot of bars on the corners of things and we want there to be lots of room for the screws to catch on. Uh, we put these middle pieces so that they'll be in the exact center of the frame for each one of these so that it's easy to do our screw lines. Uh, the rest of them are here. And then we're trying a new method for getting our screws in quick where we, uh, we measured out exactly where we're going to be putting all of our screw lines. These are all eight inches apart on each one of these sheets. We put all the plywood sheets together because all the walls are the same and we just pre-drilled all the holes and then hammered in the, the screws that we need to go. Hopefully we all just bring the whole thing up and screw it in and we'll be set. Anchoring these to the ground, we're gonna use half inch wedge, concrete wedge anchors. We have an eight inch floor so we can sink these down pretty deep. Uh, what we've done here is we're gonna have a double base plate. We'll have the bottom of the wall frames and then we'll also have a base plate below that and they spiral in different directions. And then we're just gonna put these on with some massive fender washers that we got and sink them down into the ground. We're gonna try two on each side. We might do three on each side depending how we feel like it. I could just be doing this at the beginning of the video. You are doing that at the beginning of the video. Mm. I'm recording right now. It's a good box. So we put it all up, uh, sanded it down, and it looks really, really nice. The process for assembling it worked really well. I'm gonna finish it now. Uh, first, I'm gonna sand it down a bit. Uh, we just used a random orbital sander. It's been up for it's been up for a week and already has been used. So, so I'm just gonna get it get it to a good level and clean it off and stuff. Uh, we finish with a material called, or a product called poly, Polyway. This is actually a cheese-based product. It's really nice um, because it's water-based, easy to clean up, and it dries in like two hours. So we can do three coats in one day, which is what we typically do. On the second coat, for the areas that we want grip, we also apply um, these walnut shells. We just blow them on or, or drop them on where we want them. I'm gonna just put it on the top of this and leave the sides uh, clear. The polyway tends to have a pretty good grip actually once it dries, even when flat and without any uh, grip on it. Um, yeah, just apply it with a brush and should be all set.